It's recording, guys. Hello. Welcome. We are playing Fears to Fathom. I uh, haven't heard anything about this one when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even if just a little bit. These are based on true stories or yeah, I think it is this game because you can submit in the corner on the menu is like saying you can submit your story. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Yeah, this convention I was at went great and now it was the day to drive back home well when i set off i soon realized the traffic was horrible i decided i'd take the long way to avoid the traffic it was a little over 12 hour drive oh shit! so we're driving wow we got the music playing <laughs> oh i got a text Text and drive. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. That sucks. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, yeah. Leaving now. So I told him when I was leaving. Uh, Aiden Williams. Let's talk when I get home. Uh oh, we gotta talk. Okay, you can get out too. Motherfucker on the side of the road. Uh oh, one text from dad. Six hours away from the city, got stuck in a jam. To a convention want to go to one just to see some fire cosplay yeah i'd totally go to a convention oh i'm running out of gas i've realized i was low on gas oh don't tell me are we about to our i, I think the car is gonna break down i know i'm texting and driving i don't know I told you to take that flight right i don't know why we we drove we should have flew. Internet, internet. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. It is kind of therapeutic. What is that? Oh yeah, yeah. So let's pull in here. What side is this a uh, gas tank on? That's what I need to figure out. Let me go in the middle just in case. There we go. Oh, wait, is there no gas? I think. Yeah, I don't know where you put the gas up at. Let's go, uh. See if motherfucker got gas. Oh, the guy looking. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, what's up? How's your night going? Where are you headed? He just looked at me. What? Damn. Are right, you? Well, fuck you too, then. Oh shit! You can. Okay, you can buy stuff here. I'm only talking to this guy. I need some gas, buddy. Can I get $10 on pump two? Which one's pump two? Am I at the right... Am I saying the right pump? The bridge. North Pole Valley Bridge, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there at this time of year. Be careful. Um, what do you mean? 
For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Northwood Valley... Valley... What is that? Is that an M? Monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees? What? Oh, it's not cleaned. Damn. I tried to use the toilet. What if I can say it's not cleaned? And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Yeah. Why or who is she? Why shouldn't I stop? Like, or no, no, no. I'll say who is she, right? Like, who is this bitch? She died in an accident there on prom night. Some say that she s seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Okay. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstance, pick up any hitchhiker. And those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They ain't what you think it, ma'am. They just ain't. <laughs> oh, okay, pump two's right here. My car was parked a little too far at first, okay. Let's, uh, let's get a little closer. A fucking backup job, though. <laughs> Seek these nuts. And then you're gonna say respectfully, like, that changes anything, man. That's mom ass. Out of dog food? Damn, this damn car. I blocked the whole damn entrance. <laughs> My bad, Joe. Where the dog food at? Apple chips. Ha, <laughs> what are you drinking? Free promo. <laughs> oh, right here, right here. Five dollars. Thank you. My doggy food. That's all I need, right? The dad doesn't need any milk or anything. Okay, get out of here. Put that shit in the back. Oh, uh oh. That's what I'm trying to do, is put... I'm trying to put it in the trunk. It's not going in the trunk. Holy shit, man. Oh, man, here we go. I'm fucking it all up. It was all neat. <laughs> damn, damn. That suitcase in there. Ugh! Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright, that's the best it has to get then. It's it's gonna be fucked up a little bit then, y'all. And what's up with the uh, this? Yeah, let me move. Fucking skateboard. I don't know why I even have a skateboard with me, but I do. So you know, what's that in there? Hmm. There we go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who said I didn't know how to play Tetris? Okay, okay. This stupid ass hat in there too. I'll throw that in the back. Yeah. Mm. Is that good? Huh? 
That's good. <laughs> Are we out? So this is where we were going uh, before. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. What? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Her mom? Not expired or anything, right? No. No, mom. It's not. Wait, what happened to my lights? Oh, there we go. I'm just, uh, you know, they were just fucking up a little bit. You know what happens, right? Keep driving. Oh, come on, like. What the past this motherfucker? The middle of the fucking road. I could go back and buy lights. Wasn't the best at driving? No, I wasn't. I'm gonna pass this motherfucker though. Hello? Oh, he's zooming off, bro. I tried to pass him, he just zoomed off. Hello? I don't see that light behind me? Yeah, where'd that, where, where'd that car go? My lights look like they, they back to, to working. Ooh, okay. There's a bridge. Ah, uh, this is the bridge they're talking about. So don't stop on the bridge, right? They said just keep going. Y'all ever been on long drives before? Like long late at night drives like this? I've been on a few. Uh, not often though. I think it's chill when you're like not the driver and you're like chilling. It's like a long drive. It's like nighttime. I find that like relaxing, like just looking out the window, the lights, seeing other cars and whatnot. Oh, look at that. Nah, what was that? Bar on the side of the road, yo? What is that noise? What is that noise? Let me just keep going, right? You don't want to stop and find out, huh? Right, the lights. There was this very weird thing the road yeah that I could drive past the logs but those wouldn't budge I mean there was a car in front of us right and how did the car in front of us get past these logs you think it's because I tried to pass them guys was it because I tried to pass them I was being a dickhead Oh my god, I hear something in the bushes over there, guys. Let's get back in this fucking car. Uh oh, fuck nah, bro. I'm... I hear something. Oh, do you have to move it this way? Oh, no. Wow, man. This shit is a little buggy, I'm not gonna lie. Right, get in, get in. We're gone. Go. Yo. Oh no. It wouldn't start back up. What? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service? Oh, I don't have phone service either? Oh, man. 
Oh man. We fucked up. Need to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but what? What what do we do? Throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment I had no choice. What do you mean? I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Oh no. Don't tell me we gotta wait for someone to come driving by. It's getting later too. I didn't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. Yeah, that's terrible. They really just drove by. I, th I thought I like did something wrong for a second. <laughs> I tried blocking him, he ran my ass over. You're the girl from the gas station. Oh my god, you're the guy that didn't say anything. You're that guy that didn't say anything. Uh, yeah, hi, thank you for stopping. Uh, what are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't call for help. Uh, you think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Uh, just the nearest stop where I can call for help, yeah. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright, man. What stuff? What stuff do I need? Oh, I can carry. Two things. Oh, I got another bag right there. So do I need to take everything? The dog food and luggage? Damn, I took it all, bro. Cause shit, man, you know, like, I might need that skateboard, you know what I'm saying? I can skateboard home better than walking, right? All right. Oh, let me put that up or anything? Nope, we're chilling. Uh, hello? You need to hurry up, I don't have all day. Uh, <laughs> I don't need him to help me with my stuff. But... Oh, there's a hat. A fucking hat? Bro. Applejack, Cinnamon is the Winnemon. Yes, Kev. Alright, can I do it now? Hello? I'm done, okay. There we go, finally. I'll hop in, be quick. 
Yeah, this guy is a dickhead. I'm surprised he even stopped. Yeah, I remember the commercials. Let's go, man. So, uh, how are you doing today? You, uh, I really appreciate you stopping, you know, uh, on no small talk. So, you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. Um, yeah, I live really close from here. I wouldn't imagine you asking those questions at the gas station. It's okay, I wouldn't trust me either. So you were listening to what I was talking to that guy? Huh? You were listening then? He said, Jason. My name is Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Yeah, um, nice to meet you, man. He's really asserting himself right now. Uh, you're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, we're one brave young woman. Um, yeah, what's that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Um, I don't, I don't know. An old car, yeah. That's it? I think so. Why are you saying someone sabotaged it? Like, who would touch my car though, right? So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. Yeah, it was pretty creepy. Uh-uh. But interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Oh, he's dissing the motherfucker. He's really dissing it right now. I love you. Yeah, what the fuck? So is it true? What the monster? Alright, 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 alright. Let's uh, see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are some things and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them and you don't be bothered. Okay. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for the fucking redeems, Kev. Damn. You know I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Yeah, you're a little... You're blunt. You're very blunt. We'll call it that. I love you. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there. He said ominously before leaving. Okay, we got the motel. We got the hotel, motel. Not approved for occupancy. Who's, who the fuck is that? Hello? Let's go talk to this guy. What's up, man? Y'all need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? Forty for single? Okay. Pay the cash. Room number nine. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Okay. 
So he's gonna go get my car for me. I'll let Tommy know, okay. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. What do you mean by that? All right, uh, thank, thank you, thank you, man. So let's go figure out where room nine is then. He said ads. This guy driving is a fucking donkey dick. Oh shit. Aiden Williams is texting me right now. Oh my, I'm finally getting service though. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Reroute, yeah, I see my text messages aren't sending. Okay, that's 11. That's 10. There's 9. Alright, uh, I don't think we really need to go anywhere else then. Let's get in there. Nice and warm inside. Word, word, yeah. That's how we like it. That's how we like it. Nice and warm. I don't have any eats. Where's the bed sheets at, man? Hello? <laughs> oh! oh. Oh my god. What the fuck is he doing here? You scared the crap out of me. Yeah, what? I'm Tommy, room service, here at your Roadway Inn, the finest stop over in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. I at the front desk gave me this room. Said, hey, 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 hey. Why the fuck are you laughing? What's so funny, man? What's so damn funny, man? I don't have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Please, wait outside, I said. Go get your stuff. Why does everyone want to fucking yell at you? Like, I thought I was, like, the guest. Right? I want to fucking beat down on the motherfucker. Right? <laughs> he said he was going to beat down on him. Oh, man. Hmm. Let's get all this stuff. Hmm. <laughs> he said Whopper meal combo with an uppercut. Oh, man. So it's three trips. Is he done in there, by the way? I don't know what the fuck he was doing in the back. He's probably doing his drugs. Start throwing my shit in. Why can't I just wear the hat? All right, now get out. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy. 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 But don't you worry. It's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed. But we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Oh, okay. But you have a good night. I'm blocking your bitch ass. Ah! Where is he taking me? <laughs> Alright. So, let's find a good spot for this shit. Oh, in the closet, yeah. Let's put this stuff in the closet for now. 
Did I just throw that shit through the wall? I don't even know what that was. What's that noise? See, no one's texting me. Oh, I still have no service. my hat I left my hat outside <laughs> I left my hat outside oh what the fuck yeah there's something really off about this place Dude was just looking at me through the fucking... And what is that water noise? A hot cup of coffee could help? Okay, so you... I'm supposed to just... Wait, seriously? Like, you feel a dark ominence in, in the area and you want to get up and go get coffee? Wait, seriously? Like... Only coffee could help me stay up. Hmm... Well, I guess... Okay, look, they got some shit here. Um... I don't see coffee... Fruit. Let's see, cola. I don't see coffee. You got any coffee in here, man? Hello? You have a great night's sleep. What? So where do you get this coffee at? Ah, look at this. Buy some espresso. Ooh. Dad, baby, happy Friday. Hey. Oh, wait. What just happened? Oh, shit. I'm on drugs. Yo, my controls are inverted. I'm on drugs, yo. Uh, five, six. Wait, where do I go? Oh shit, nah, I'm not reading that text. I'm going, I gotta go back to the crib first. Oh, this inversion is crazy. Alright, man. Holy. I can't even see this shit. said on a perk damn right damn right man strange bro gotta be careful 3 a.m bro 
Okay, so we woke up sedated. Woke up fucked up. We were fucked up. Yeah. What is that noise, guys? What is that? Hello? What the fuck? Shit. You know, y'all see that? My shit about to close out. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? these noises y'all guy that's coming with my car open the door what's up man didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up I have complained what are you making all those goofy noises for whatever it is just keep it down miss Is that why your eyes are all red? Oh yeah, that coffee machine fucked me up. Yeah, bro. What's up with that coffee machine? We don't have no coffee machine here. What? It's right over there. Okay, okay. I've had enough of this, you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. Yo, what? You don't believe me? Where is it now? What are you talking about? Show me your coffee machine now. Okay. Well, come in. Come on, move, move out the way. Come on. Come with me. I'll show you. Just come with me, man. I'm not lying. Watch there be no fucking coffee over here. Oh no, there's no coffee over here. Oh, I'm gonna look like a crazy person. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. He said he called her a goon. Yeah, bro. He's telling me to go back to the room. 
Oh, man. All right. Y'all got me looking goofy out here. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. So what do you mean offer me relief? How do you know what I'm experiencing right now? I don't know. This is your motel, nigga. You don't see the fucking coffee machine? Like, I don't know. What if he had it there and then he moved it or something? Like, I really just trusted this? I just... Requires water. Okay, is there a sink anywhere? Or... Or should I just... Okay, here we go. Some water in here, put it... Now what, man? Sleep again? No, let's do. Let's check the phone. Should definitely try to update them. Oh, I still don't have service. Fuck. Hello? What do I do? There's no way I have to open the door, do I? Oh fuck, go to sleep? What the fuck was that? Y'all hear that? It was like a camera. Yeah, it really is weird that he knows to take the meds. That's so Hello? Hello? So now what? Hello? 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 I need help. What do you want? 
Please open the door. Do nothing. I'm not opening the door, man. Better get out of here. But I know you're in there. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Come on. Uh-oh. 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 Oh shit. This day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected motel. Oh, the motel's reputation? I believe the town could have been home to a cult. Ah. So Tommy came with the car. Wait, was it fixed though? Never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Yeah, I don't blame you. Is that it? Okay, so our car's still fucked up. Bro got evaded, right? He knocked his ass out. You see him hiding behind the fucking wall? Wow. So who was in our closet? That's what, what I want to know. He said all I heard was, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you knocked the fuck out of him. Hey, I don't think it was bad. I mean, shit, I'm not going on a long road trip like that. Like, cause that was all back roads, nothing was lit up. And I really feel like something happened to that car. Like something was sabotaged, something. But uh, thank you for watching, guys.